All right, good day everyone and welcome to one of my videos again for the persons who have been asking how comes I'm not uploading any videos. My sincere apologies, there was some technical difficulty that would prevent me from uploading video as I as I plan to. But going forward, um, we can rest assured that I'll be uploading a video every week, at least two videos per week, because I want to finish the syllabus um, as quickly before exam. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel and please share. I am asking you to share, right? I'll be leaving my email in the description um, for person who want SBA assistant, for person who want tutoring and so in my email, you can send me an email and respond very fast. All right, so today we're gonna look at information processing. And you know, this topic has been CXC for a good while, but the syllabus is now structured in a new way. All right, so we, we more go in depth of information processing. And we'll ensure, let's look at what information processing is. According to this definition, information processing refers to the com refer to computer-based system that take, take in data and generate information, right? And we know that data is said to be raw material. So we can stop, let's stop and think, uh, and stop thinking about the computer for a minute and think about a survey. When you do a survey, when you do a questionnaire, I know for those who are doing SBA, you not do, as, do questionnaires. And if the, the reason for the questionnaire is to pick up raw, in raw data, right? So we want something, we want to hear views of people. So we do a survey and do a questionnaire. Then when we get that, we analyze it. And whatever, when we analyze that information and put it together, we produce a report, right? Which will be called that now, the information. So data, as we know, in computer-based terms, is raw material, right? Letter, number, and symbol. Uh, we can say, and process data, right? No. This definition should refer to the computer based system that taking data and generate information. So let us go in depth after that. We understand what this is saying, but let's get in depth of this and see what we can learn from this. Now, another thing about information system that we have to know about is information system, uh, IS. It's a record keeping system in which data is collected, processed, and displayed in order to provide useful information. So a system used to collect data. And then once you collect the data, we analyze the process, we manipulate it and give out information to users. So example of these systems are address books and we'll, we'll understand what address books is because we use this a lot. Um, dictionaries, telephone directory, and yeah, in Jamaica, we use something called yellow page, um, school timetables, and those are some, you know, examples of what um, IS is. Give example of electronic IS, right? So that you can do on your own research. Now, data versus information. Now, we're looking at this now. We look at this information, right? And you might say, what is this? Great there, nanny there, 55 there, and everything. So nothing here is actually precise and understandable. It's just raw, right? Now, when we put that together now, we get name, test grade, so Jane got 90, Sammy got 87, Nanny got 55. Now we understand what's happening there. That is what information is. So data is raw. We can't understand it, but information allows us to understand that, right? So you should understand clearly um, the difference between a data and an information. Data is raw information is actually understandable data is not understandable all right good so why do we collect information we collect information for one culture laser laser work research especially research everyday life planning and decision making. So these are some good reasons as to why people actually collect data. And then there are a lot of other reasons. As you said, research for your SBA, you have to do some form of data collection. Although smart people are not doing that, you just make up something. But 
really and truly, um, everybody nowadays involves research. When we are building a system, we do some form of research. When we are opening a business, we do some form of research. And all of these research um, involves some form of data collection. And there are, you know, there are different means of collecting data, which we'll get to as we go along. Now, source of information, measurement, sales, productivity output, cash receipts, informal information, you whisper to somebody ears, right? At a meeting, the word I'm out and meeting. So those are form of informal um, communication. Publication, now we are, what we are looking at in our people are ways in which we can collect um, information. So we look at meeting is how we have to information um, and word of mouth. These are some methods of information, right? Now publication is one, um, you know, there's a, a different publication, hurricane preparedness tips, um, trends in chronic disease. I'm not sure what is missing on this one, but let's go ahead. Questionnaires is one of them, which we use, as we said before, I said earlier, uh, some, something we use to collect information, opinion polls, uh, market research. Um, car services that make information useful and which is very important at the way to information processing, right? Now we look at this. Um, you may look at this and wondering what that is. Cars that make information useful. Let's quickly look at that. And now, if you might look at these images and wondering what are they for, but we'll get to that. Virtual image. Hmm. Now, these are some characteristics that make um, information useful. Let me, sorry about that. I'm trying to move my image from back in, right? Now, character that make information relevance, right? It must be what the user needs to know and be up to date, right? So we learn should have most of us, the first thing we do when we want information is browse Google. Go on the internet and research. But what we don't know is that it's very important that we check when the information has been updated. Is that information from 20 years ago? Information from 50 years ago? Or it was the information from last year, this year, right? Relevance is very important. Right, it must be something that is recent, good, accurate. It must be at least, it must be as correct as possible, right? It must be as correct as possible. So information, it needs to be accurate and timely. Timely meaning information should be provided for problem solving before a critical stage is reached and opportunities are lost. So really and truly, Information is need to be timely, complete. It must represent a complete picture of the problem or solution. It must represent a complete picture of a problem or solution, cost effective. Now, the value of information should be more than the cost involved in its collection. So really and truly, it, 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 it must be cost effective. It must be complete. In an appropriate medium, and, and, and this one is very important people. And you know, another thing you guys need to do is that after this presentation, you should do your own research, right? Because you don't have to stick to this information I'm giving to you. There's a lot more information. There's a lot more characteristics that make information useful than this, right? Now, it should be delivered using appropriate communication medium, whether by oriented material or storage devices. So information will actually must be given a good medium, the internet, right? Right? So will actually, the thing is that it is important that it, when we gather information, the wider medium should be good is that, you know, to, to block any barriers from communication. Because I guess what? We might be taking the information. And the day we take, we, we take the wrong information, I will get the wrong impression of the information that we hear. 
to permanent hear the information properly and write on the wrong information. That is why the medium at which this information is being communicated is very important. Is it over the radio? Is it over the, the, over the internet, right? All those things we have to consider. And that's something you can do on your own. Ways in which data can be processed um, to become information. Carry out calculation in a spreadsheet, right? Now, this is how we are processed. So we get a number of data, right? We get some figures, right? And we go in our spreadsheet and do some calculation to get a final figure, right? So, for example, we are at a, we are at a, 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 a election, right? We need to know the total amount of persons that vote. We get the name of the persons. We have the name on the list, and we have their vote already. So we need to probably do a count, probably using the count formula, the count formula, and get a total, right? And then that is information. Instead of sending me a list of the person that votes, just give me the total person vote. So I do a, a spreadsheet calculation to get the total. Printing a document or an image. Searching a document or a database for a particular items of data. Updating data in a file. So those are ways um, that information um, can be processed. Display an image on the screen. Sorting data into alphabetical order. All of these are methods of actually processing information are involved in the process, involved in the process of our information. Now, forms of information processing. Now, commercial use in banks and supermarkets, right? Industrial, using factory, scientific, use in medicine, weather forecast, etc. Automation and process um, control. So these are some forms of information processing, especially commercial, right? Using banks, the industry in the in industrial, using factories, right? So you guys can read upon these forms on your own. I, I am not a person that lists out everything, right? I, I look at stuff that you know might give us more challenge. But we're going to look at automation and process control system. I got the control system, right? And there's an image of a sample of a control system using um, the stoplight. It's a form of control system. Control system are system that I computer, that use computer to control machinery. So if you guys didn't know, a computer is what control stoplight, right? Come to control many other stuff, but this is a perfect example, right? Good. Automation system is a straightforward type of control system in which tasks are carried out automatically, and right. So um, you might guys might be wondering what is a perfect example out of an automation system in the in the industry such as um vehicle. Automation system I would create some of, some of the vehicle that you are looking at is not really man jump up and design really man control the machine and give the instruction and try to create that vehicle and they create the vehicle. So you know automation system are used heavily in the vehicle industry, in the manufacturing industry as well. Those type of system are actually used. Process control system are, are, are a type of control system often using manufacturing in which actions are changed depending on feedback from the sensor. And again, this is another thing that is used very often in the manufacturing industry. And it's very good to know which industry uses these type of systems. So people, the information given you is just giving like an explanation it's on your own to read and get more information and research. Explain control system however they like. So the simple microwave is a type of control system. Um, really and surely we, we put it in, we put a, a, a cup of water in it and we give it a time and say, have that water for me and it 
do it for us. Yes, it's a various type of controls that we use in our household washing machine. Example, good example of a control system that we, 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 we use on a daily basis. Traffic lights, which we said before, heat, air conditioning system, alarm system, and, 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 and this is a quick moment for you guys, list at least four advantage of information processing and list four disadvantage of information processing and you guys can do that for you. Look, Omar, and when I give these, look, Omar, it is very important where I actually give it out. All right, so that is the end of this. We'll go back again and information processing is a big topic. So you hear back from me tomorrow I'm going to another video on information processing where we go in depth. We talk about different type of checks like validation range and so forth. So thank again, remember to like and subscribe and look out for more videos and share with your people family, please. Have a great day.